Alex. Good to see you, my friend. How are you? Very good for someone who only slept three hours. <laughs> yeah, I was about, <laughs> I was about to say because I was amazed to get a chat from you that early this afternoon. Yeah, I think it's. I'm already on my like, like six or seven like coffee this morning. So much for a guy who's like struggling with like uh, cardiac rafts and everything. But hey, what? I love it. I love it. Yeah, because I'm, 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 I'm testing the new parts. <laughs> you know, I'm stretching. I'm testing the new parts. I just want to make sure that everything works. Everything. You know, just to get ready for the next the next adventures. Well, I guess that going to Tangier for two weeks, coming back to Montreal for one day, and then heading to Tokyo for another week is um, it's a pretty good road test, I would say. Yeah, it's my very alternative version of recovery, you know, just like a heart surgery, uh, alternative recovery plan. So, so now I understand why they told me like, well, maybe in your case, it might take two, two years after all. <laughs> Oh, well. Oh, well. Yes, I'm sure your doctor <laughs> is very happy and very proud of you. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. Exactly. So that's, that's why, that's why like, I, because I need to send him like all my data every day just to make sure with, like my pressure and everything. And just like, and he said, oh, are you okay? You're just sending me like uh, weird, at very weird hours. So, oh, yeah, I'm in Tanger. Said, what? And then, oh, yeah, I'm in Tokyo. And he was just like, Okay, now are you starting to think about resting a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I'm very, I'm very reasonable, of course, and all the metrics and, and the metrics and data are very good. So nice. it means that in that context, you know, I'm getting better and better. So it's a good thing. Well, wow, very cool. And you look great. I honestly mean it. You don't look like <laughs> <or>, I mean, <laughs> Wow, very, thank you. Yeah, you look like fresh and nice and very very well so it's called man makeup there you go well done love it professional high skills <laughs> yeah, <of course. laughs> uh, so all right <laughs> to put everyone in context we're on a alex on a, zoom, on a zoom call right now so hope everything um is well it's going well technical technically and alex as you just heard is in in tokyo in japan where which part of tokyo are you i'm in shinjuku Oh, it's one it. of like I really like this area. Amazing. So it was an, um, it was amazing. It was like part of a of a music conference. Okay. So and uh, been invited here, and um, it was very amazing. I really believe in the uh, Japanese art world. They're very very uh, singular. They're very authentic, and there's like something that's very beautiful about it. So to be part of it is just always a blessing for me and having the opportunity to come back here was just like phenomenal. Wow. So, and here I am. There you go. It starts to, it's, it, it's, it's raining a little bit. So You're serious. I mean, it's, it's live, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. so, at, so, at some point I will have to get yeah. like an umbrella or something, but you know, this is like, it yeah. is what it is. I love it. Well, welcome to the, to the club zoom. Well, yeah. Everything can happen. Ain't that amazing? Ain't that amazing? Yeah, I can get more real. <laughs> um, I'm going to be I, soaked wet for the French edition. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hello, we're in Tokyo. <laughs> um, yeah, so I wanted to, uh, to uh, well, thanks first and foremost for taking the time, especially on your morning, um, to do this Zoom with me. I wanted to, uh, for us to open up about the, uh, the new musical project. Uh, you're working on because I know you've been invited to Japan for for the music conference, but I also know you're there for some other reasons. And I I wanted us to uh, yeah. talk about it together and and to share a little more to our friends because uh, you've been exposing or sharing a little bit on your um, on your personal journal. You did like three parts journal about all of what's like yeah. kind of the, the state of the union kind of thing, and there were <laughs> so many things. It was so exciting. And, um, and yeah, but I, I, I didn't want to just put words in your mouth. So I wanted to, for you to, um, tell us a little bit more about what's your, what's your um, trip to Japan for outside of the, uh, the music. Conference. Yeah, I really wanted to, uh, to see, because the, the beautiful thing of that, um, yeah, someone is coming to help me and to save me with the weather and, uh, thank you, Sarigato. Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, it's really raining here. I mean, this is live. 
It's amazing. <laughs> Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you so much. Reality TV. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. So, so yeah, so it was a very wonderful opportunity since the whole project is in Japanese. I wanted to, yeah, little uh, feature from my friend. And um, Arigato. So it was a wonderful opportunity for me to, to come here because the whole project is in Japanese and I wanted to work with, the, with Momoka for, for quite some time, even though we, uh, she pe she's been featured on pretty much all my records dating back to your favorite enemies. And um, so I wanted to do like something uh, more than just like a feature. I really wanted to, to create an, a musical environment where she can uh, express herself. She's got a wonderful voice and she's got a great spirit that I wanted to to share with the world and everything kind of like fell into place quite uh, organically because when I was back home in, in danger no when I was back home in Virginia see I'm a bit lost now That's like, uh, it's like time, it's, time, it's time for the meds <laughs> 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 just like woo <laughs> it's gonna be interesting surfing you know, sleep deprivation it's raining so <laughs> wonderful thank you for having me on your show jeff i'm so blessed so anyway so i was back in virginia and recovering like very early stage of my recovery and so and i was like slowly starting to look into uh material that i had uh either like recorded or filmed over the years and every year i was like very very enthusiastic about working with momoka on a project and it was all, all the time and as you know you were asking me okay alex so what's you know what do you want to do you know for this this year so the first the first project was always like the one with momoka and at the end it was a bit of a, a bit of a joke because you know i was like too busy to to really commit uh much time to it so so then i was like oh maybe it's a good timing i didn't have voice and you know i didn't know when it would come back and i wasn't very able to focus much uh, during the day so my my window of opportunity to be creative was pretty limited so i thought well maybe it's a good it's a good moment to um work on a project with someone else and, and obviously working with Momoka. I had like different opportunities, but working with, with Momoka was really um, the thing that I wanted to do. And then after that, I was walking with uh, my dogs, Makai and Leonard and on the mountain. So slowly getting back. So it was like the second phase of the recovery, I would say. And then I remember like um, all the, um, a project that I started to work on 10 years ago in Japan, where we went all over Japan, filmed. So it was supposed to be a project that I, that I wanted to release back in the days with like poetry and like sceneries, um, which is what I call now the, uh, the, motion, the immersive motion picture, the movie that, that goes with uh, the project. So I just remember that. And then I went to see like the footage and things that I haven't looked at and, and you know, from 2010, because after that with YFE, everything like started quite uh, intensely and, and we were super busy. So I didn't, I never had time to, to go back to it. And I think that if it wasn't for the fact that I was like pretty much like grounded, no voice, unable to do much, I don't think that this project would have been able to, to see the light of day. So, and I thought that instead of like trying to emulate something that I had in mind back in the days, I just, I, I look at the images and they were still very contemplative. They were very immersive, really wonderful. And I thought that it would be a perfect uh, setup for um, what Momoka and I wanted to do. So, so that, that was a little bit of the, the background and I was working on a poetry book um at that moment so that was part of my recovery as well and to 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 to, to remain a bit sane you know to work on my sanity i was just like need I, I need to be like creative at some point you know i was like getting crazy 
So, and so <clears throat> I worked on that uh, poetry book and uh, Momoka said, oh, she, uh, she read the, all the text and she was like, oh man, this is like very, very cool. And she asked me if, it, if I was open to, for her to do like her own interpretation of what, instead of translating word for word, she wanted to explore her own interpretation of the feelings that were there and the story and what, what was involved. So, so everything quite, you know, just connects very organically from one thing to another and so so yeah so here i am in japan so yeah it's a short answer <laughs> <laughs> i was about to say mm, am i still in the, the, the am i still really what i'm saying is it's still related to the question <laughs> oh man love it well yeah um love it so many yeah i, I didn't expect any any uh, any short answers on your end yeah so. You're, you're fine. It's all good. So from what I understanding is you were kind of, um, obviously, since you were like recovering for months and all that, and then you were, because you, you read in your, uh, you, wrote, you wrote, sorry, in your, uh, in your um, journal that you started to like kind of listen, to wait and see, uh, to dedicate yourself to observing and listening. So was Whoa. that... <laughs> 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 Everything will happen here. <laughs> there you go. Hopefully it fell in my pocket. Nice. I'm not that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, uh, yeah. I'm a very like technical guy, as you can see. Very professional here. Yeah. All right. So here we go. So wait and see, listen, and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, if I just trying to kind of put together the whole like um, the whole like uh, chain of events here, just to get to get our friends through uh, the process with you of all. Uh, because um, we, we've been filming Voyage à la Mer, which you shared in your in your journal like years ago in Japan. And that project yeah. have stayed on the ice for, for a decade now. And uh, even I don't know how all of this came all together when Ben got in. And what did you tell him? What the, did the poetry, the poetry came beforehand, like the moment you shared with Momoka? Or how, how did that all came together? I think that when when it started to be clear that i wanted to do the project and i wanted to commit myself to it because the thing is i was foolishly believing that you know after like four weeks i would be like up and running so so when i realized that it might might be a little longer so and i was like very that was it, it was driving me a bit crazy because the the biggest challenge i guess i don't know for for all the others that went through the same procedures that I've been through, but with all, and I was like heavily medicated as well at that moment. And it's all the depression. So it's like the post-surgery depression. And me, I was very, very uh, concerned about that because I've got like um, a propension to, to, uh, to, you know, to be uh, depressive. So, and the reason why also I didn't want to take like painkillers. So I didn't want to risk like getting in a position where I would lose myself even more. So, so then I needed to focus on something. And I think that when I found, when it, when it slowly came back to me, all the image like 2010 and all those sensations to be able to be maybe with someone that I really wanted to work with for a long time and for her to be my voice through her own voice, so, so then it all clicked, and then I talked with Ben, and he said, look, um, if you're interested, this is a project that I want to work with, with uh, that I want to work on, and I would like to work uh, with you on it. So Ben was just like, oh, great, you know, yeah, it's cool. So when are we starting? And I said, well, I already bought you, like, a plane ticket. You're, you'll be in Virginia tomorrow. So he thought I was kidding, and he was like, what? So the day after he was home and, and the funny part was he said, okay, but what about Momoka? What, what did she say? She said, oh, I'm going to tell her all about it. You know, when she's going to come with you tomorrow. She said, said, wait, 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 wait a minute. So you're inviting us to, to your place. You haven't told Momoka about, about this and you're already like in that motion. So it kind of basically started like that. You know, I didn't want to waste time because... I know myself and I didn't want to have to deal with 
doubts and to be in a position where my situation would kind of um, get in the way of that creative journey that I wanted to, to, to be part of with, uh, with Ben and Momoka. So, so it needed to start quite uh, fast. Mm. So after that, I talked with, with Ben a lot. And so, it, so we, they did like several back and forth home. So they, some parts were, were worked in, in, in our HQ in Montreal. Most of them, and a lot was made also in my home studio. And as, as far as the, the lyrics or the poetry book, uh, it was something that I was already like um, envisioning, like the story and everything, because the whole the whole project is based on chapters. Mm. So I've got a I've got a knack for that, like acts, chapters, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> and so it's all based on chapters, and so so then it was becoming s slowly becoming more. Uh, obvious that we had that we had something that was um, unique mm. and that was that would be a able to evolve on itself so i didn't want to do something special with momoka i didn't want to do something that will would be like an absolute and suddenly you're just like oh this is you know my recovery project so i wanted something that could stand on its own and that will keep on evolving uh once you know i'm starting to work on it and once it's going to be released so because otherwise it's pretty it, it would have been sterile and i think i would have been very disappointed to um you know to to involve momoka in something that that wouldn't have like much uh of a future i would say <clears throat> so so that's why that's pretty much how it went and it was pretty organic and it was very natural flow and so momoka was like she was she received like the text and, and the poetry and she went through it and then after that when we were in studio with her it was obvious at some point that me i didn't want to to to, to force myself into the project it was already something that had enough uh an entity for me just to try to oh it, i need to put my voice somewhere or i need to do this or i need to say it, I need to, you know, to talk or whatever so so through all the poetry that momoka received and then she um work on make her make it her own and then in the studio we she kept on doing annotation and changing stuff so i was pretty i was pretty open about it you know i really enjoyed the, the whole uh the whole process and and again i think the silver lining of that re repro recovery was that that i had suddenly time to to put my the little energy that i had into something positive that i could like build on amazing so because i think i would have lost myself if it if it, if it wasn't for that project it would have been very very difficult Sure, of course, yeah, something to rely on and 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 because I mean it's so beautiful. I mean, there's so much to it, like um, between uh, your love of Japan, the poetry, you being in recovery, um, also the whole like technical aspects with the video, like the whole filming, the music. I mean, it's like it's it's it's, it's huge. I'm just like you know, it's a, it's a yeah, like so. <laughs> I tend to I tend to, to to go a bit overboard when I'm involved in a project. <laughs> it's very funny because like our management were like, wait a minute, okay, Alex. Well, when we when we initially talked about this project, I was it there. Was like it 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 didn't feel like it was that big. So what it's what you, what's going on here? And but obviously they're they're amazing and supportive because I'm still I'm still at the at the stage where I will have a decision to make in terms of the, the final incarnation of the project because there are so many um, aspects involved because you've got you've got the um, the music obviously. You've got all the, the poetry book, you've got the movies, 
and also I wanted to add like um, and like a little bit like of like interlude where I can like share fragments of the original uh, texts in the movie. So then the incarnate, you know, how it's going to take shape after it's, it's still, uh, uh, I'm still thinking about it. Love it. So, and that's why I want, that's why I wanted to come here in Japan as well. And being invited was like a wonderful opportunity for me because I, I, I had the opportunity to come and film a little bit more and, and also to get the vibe of the story and to, to, to reconnect with all those sensations, unique sensations that I always felt when I came here in Japan. So I think that I've got like clarity came out of this trip about the whole project. And I had the opportunity also to, because Momo came with me. And so we had the opportunity to talk about it a little and, and I've got like, a lot of friends here in the music business were very like like surprised about like what a japanese project so not that they were surprised that i would do something crazy that's that's already settled but they were very happy that i was committing myself to do like a project that would essentially um be able to to be understood on a, in a very deep level from for the Japanese people. Yeah, absolutely. Very cool. I guess so. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, you don't hear that much. And 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 I think you've you've passed the uh, surprising line in in so many in a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. So and, and and technically like what are you are we because I'm I, obviously in people from the club they received the vinyl with the song on it. And they didn't know anything about that. It was just, just came as <laughs> it just came as a surprise. Even when I presented the vinyl in a in a live video, I, I didn't see any detail because <laughs> I didn't have any back then. So obviously, many people liked the song, and and then they asked me a lot of things like, um, "Is there going to be any um, lyrics on it? Are we going to hear your voice? Is it is it like?" spoken words is it in japanese is it singing like all those questions are kind of, of course, like, yeah this is coming my way so but i think that what i like first and foremost you know about artists that are i do respect and i admire that are inspiring to me are those who can do whatever they want in the, in the sense that they're following their own muse in their own line so it's not about um, what works, what might works, what you should do because someone else is asking you to do something or it's where you're at in your career or whatever you want to call it, your journey. So for me, I'm coming, where I'm coming from is a place where you're following your God, you're following your instinct. And so for me, I didn't really pay too much attention about the fact that it might look strange in my discography. You know, everything that I did is already weird. So I, I, I that, that ship has, has sailed a long time ago, you know, yes. and it's cool because it's, you're able to share things with people that is always exciting and, 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 and new and, and they know that it's going to be uh, honest in, in, in shape and form so so that's why for me i wasn't really thinking too much about it and i was only very happy and enthusiastic about the fact that i would be able to share with the people and i purposely um av avoided to to add momoka's voice to the track that i sent to people because It's something that could like they would be the way I see it, and that's that's probably where it's going to be <laughs> even more more strange. <laughs> but I wanted I wanted people to to add their own voices to the mm. project before uh, it would take another form or 
before it would be presented to them as more of a uh, advanced stage. So, so then people can, you know, just just let go into the music. It's completely different from most of the things that I did, and along with Ben, and and it's great. That's that's really what you know what I what my heart was for the people just to say, well, this is a bit more dreamy. This is a bit more like uh, introspective, and you can you can you can create your own contemplation. And, and also, considering the state of the world right now, I didn't want to add any more noise to the whole thing. I wanted to share something that was a bit more hopeful and uh, uplifting, rather than just you know screaming my will to live, whatever it, you know might might be dormant right now within me. It will come, but that's what I wanted to. So, and that's why I didn't, you know, it was quite of a surprise for everyone in the club um, because it was the first time that we were adding um, a vinyl. It wasn't part of the original subscription, a membership or anything, but I was so enthusiastic about it that, you know, I didn't, I didn't really care uh, about the details. The only thing that I wanted was to share into knowing that people would you know, really dwell into it, even though it's very different from anything anything else. Mm. And some people were a bit like, so is it like the new creative direction you're going you're going to or whatever? So oh, that's why I made that's why I made it very clear that there's a big difference between a project and an album. So that's a project. So the album will be something else altogether. Yes. So, yeah, I just wanted to sh to share a little bit of a beauty before going back to something a bit more dirty. I love it, and it's it's so. That's a great. That's a great line, right? You can use it. That's a great line. I, I just took note of it. <laughs> Definitely a beautiful line, and uh, and 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 yeah, it's and it's so true. It's so right, like you know, right, it, it, deeply rooted in truth. Because you've been sharing a lot about the voyage à la mer, journeys, traveling, and just to hear you talk like you just did, it's um, obviously your your the last year has been quite a journey for yourself, and we can um, we can we can uh, we can hear it. And what I like is like even now you're in Tokyo and 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 the. You're still like in in my from my understanding is um, the journey is like it's you're still allowing yourself to be amazed or moved or change direction mm -hmm. or to it's not like you're not digging to find something it's 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 something else and I've never never heard you speak like that to that extent really and it's it's um we can we can hear the shift I could say in in all of uh, uh, your personal well th thank you. Yeah, I, I don't. It doesn't feel like that every morning. <laughs> Trust me. Um, yeah, I think what what I went through, you know, just it creates isolation by nature, and you're kind of lost. And especially for me, that I'm more of a of a. I love to be surrounded with with people, but I'm very um, private. And I'm very um, uh, I will take moments moments for myself just to to really muse about more personal elements and, and more spiritual aspects and, and reflection. So so I think that going going through what I've been through, what and I'm all and I'm still going through all of it. It's um, it's a bit puzzling because you're kind of you're kind of losing control on your mind and your body, and that's very that's very crazy because I'm still like looking for words. I'm still like losing. If if I wasn't already like all messed up, so we will have like I, I would have like conversation, and at some point I'm just like, you know, it's almost like 
where I am right now. <laughs> so sometimes it's, you know, I still have episodes like that and the energy and when the energy, energy level goes down, then I crash quite uh, fast and it's affecting my, my ability to, to focus. So there's elements like that, that, that kind of forced me to, to let go of many things and to appreciate what I was like witnessing and being in the studio to go back to that project, being in a studio and being more of a observant than this, the center part was also uh, beneficial for me to rediscover some, um, some of the things that I might have lost uh, touch with. So, and to see how, you know, Momoka, she's very laid back and she was like, you know, like laying down in the couch and doing her things. And it was like grandiose and beautiful. And me, you know, I'm just like, needs to, I need to suffer. It needs to, to be intense. It needs to, you know, I'm just like, yeah. come on, let's, I need to whip myself for whatever reason. Otherwise, if, if it doesn't, it, it, if it doesn't feel like that, then I don't trust that. And just to see Momoka just being very laid back and super focused and like totally, totally like um, incarnating the different characters of the project and everything. So, but in a very more relaxed way, same for Ben. So it was funny for me to observe that, how fun it could be when you're not crazy. So... <laughs> so so that was that was also a very beautiful experience it's completely different from you know the context of like projects that i'm more uh, even though i wasn't by by definition i was in the center of it but just to leave the center stage to others was was very enlightening for me it was just like wow okay that's beautiful and i really appreciated those little moments because and i think that this is what uh, truly shaped the project in itself that I wasn't the intervention that I was uh, making wasn't like in the same nature of usually <laughs> what I do in the context of either a band or in my projects Amazing. so so that was that was very nice for me just to Kind of look at this taking shape, taking form, um, without having to force anything. So, in, in in that sense, that for me that was very uh, formative. Even though, you know, I don't think <laughs> we'll keep any of it for the next pro for the next album. Next sure, album, so. okay, that's the project. <laughs> that's so but it was it was cool to be there ben was like tremendous tremendously involved as well he's very he's, he's very calm and he's a very a force of nature in his own essence and so i think that they really allowed me to to go through that 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 little season of my life in, in a very positive and beautiful way because i don't think that without them being involved I think at some point I would just like lost my way. So, so it was, it was wonderful. It was a real gift. They really offered me something that's priceless that I now have the almost ready to share with the world. Beautiful. Wow. Does it make, does it make sense? I mean, I mean <laughs> who cares? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alex, you're still in Tokyo. Relax. You're talking with Jeff. You're, you're in security now. Everything's fine. I can see some. I can see some sunshine in your face. He's like, All right, just like some coffee. Relax. It's all Beautiful. good. <laughs> yeah, I love it. But I mean, we only have like three minutes left, unfortunately. But I, I've. It's amazing. I've never heard because for the for just for the record, guys, I, I, I wasn't there during this whole process. I didn't know, like you know pretty much any of it. So I'm learning everything uh, at the same time as you guys are. And, and I love um, this whole process and, and, and journey idea where you were more um, in the background of it all, even though, I mean, mm. I know you and I, you were pretty much obviously 
involved in all that, but the La Wing Momoka and then uh, I mean, it's such I never heard any any artist anything like that and and for the so I mean beautiful such a, it's so interesting. There's so much to uh, discover and go through with this project. I I it's, I mean I can't wait for us to talk more about it in a way. And don't take that process for granted for the next for the next album. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you said it. You're I'm late. saving my yeah. energy <laughs> for you know, just like <laughs> come on, a <laughs> leash, let's go, a yeah, leash, a leash, <laughs> yeah, do it. doctor, doctor, we need to talk. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. doctor, doctor, I'm, your, I'm less of those pills and more of those ones. So let's go, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Amazing. Nice. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for your uh, amazing time, generosity, and um, and yeah, for this project. So it's going to be great to evolve all together uh, uh, as this journey just keeps going. But in the meantime, enjoy Tokyo. Thank you so much. Yes. So it's um, it's always now. It's it's just like the trip will take a different like kind of vibe. You know, my the conference. Is over, so it's going to be more um, based on filming and going in record store and bookstores. So, yeah, I just like I will just pretend that I know how to read Japanese, and I will buy like my myself like a bunch of those books, and just like yeah, of course I yeah. can, yeah. and then. So we're gonna keep those pills for that. We're gonna do <laughs> <laughs> so Alex, oh wow, you're speaking Japanese. I thought really. I thought it was like in like in uh, <laughs> like it's Swedish or something like that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, thank you. Oh boy. <laughs> yes, exactly. I love it. Um, anyway. All right. So I thank it. you so much for having me. The, the, yes. Yeah, the, the, the rest of the interview went well. So the rain, I didn't know where to sit. All my stuff was falling. So You're I right, was a brother. bit lost. So well all good, man. Well it's handled. entertainment, right? <laughs> all right. Love you guys. See you very soon. Thank you again. I get though. <laughs> yeah.